Hello everyone, so today we'll see how to create this effect that we can see on a Windows 11 wallpaper. I saw some method on YouTube to create this effect on Cinema 4D, Blender and more, but not using Typeflow from 2ds Max, which make it very easy to do something similar. Okay, let's go. So we are in 2ds Max and I'm going to create a cylinder that will be our base shape. Segment cap 9. I convert it to edit body. I go to the front view and I remove the polygon on the top. We therefore have a flat net cylinder with few subdivision. I then select my shape and I clone it. Maybe 10. Okay. Our final shape is created. I can put it aside. I create now a tie flow setup. Open editor. I create a brush object and I select all my cylinder with add selected. They are now generated in Typeflow. I can deselect them. I now convert them to close with close bind. I go down, enable CUDA, self collision, and self thickness. Okay. Now we are going to improve the mesh. For that, I create a shell to give the thickness. Okay. And a turbo smooth to smooth the mesh. Maybe three for the subdivision. Okay, perfect. Now we want to bring our shape to life. For that, we will create a force. Select turbulence. Scale 0 0.05. Strength 5. Let's see what's happen. Okay, so we have our forms that live. This effect is very nice, but uh, it's not the effect we want. We want the shape to stay more stuck to each other. For that, we create an object bind. Select all our cylinder and add selected. Now, if I move forward in the animation, we see that our shape is totally fixed. To solve that, we go down and select linear spring. A high value will freeze your shape completely and the low value will leave them free. If I put a value of uh, 1 maybe, we can see that our objects are all in motion while being attracted to each other. What we can do now is go into type flow and decrease the time step to have a better collision. And go to the retimer to slow down our animation, maybe 50. Okay, now we have a much better animation, but all the change affects the strength of the simulation. We can therefore return to strength and increase the value. And play with the force in the object bind until we have the effect we want. Once we have something interesting, we'll do like in my previous tutorial, by creating a V-Ray camera and placing light to reveal a simulation. And once you've satisfied with your camera light, we move on to texturing. We open Material Editor and we create a very fast SSS material. We will give us a material with a little transparency. We can now choose a preset already established as a skin and apply it to type flow. Okay, and as you can see, we are starting to have something quite interesting. You can choose now the best camera angle and placement of your light, and once you like it, just rendering. One last thing before finishing this tutorial, I will show you how to assign different colors to our cylinder. For that, we go back to our type setup and we will create a material ID. We select random and we choose the number of colors we want. I will use three colors for this example, but you can create a color for each cylinder. We go back to the material editor and I create a multi sub object material. I create my true material that I link to the multi sub object and then I modify the three colors. Okay. Once it's done, I just have to apply this material to Typeflow and it's perfect. I'm just relaunching my simulation and going to the moment that I like. Now all you have to do is run your render, improve the contrast on Photoshop or After Effects, and there you go. Or to simply recreate the Windows 11 wallpaper with Typeflow and 3ds Max in just a few clicks. Remember to play with the turbulence within your strengths 
as well as strengthen your object bind to have the perfect effect you want. That's all from me for this tutorial. I hope you like it and that it was useful to you. If this is the case, do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel to like the video and why not follow me on Instagram. We'll meet again soon for new tutorials. Bye.